Hi, this is Sherry Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com, and I'm here with Jeffrey Rhodes. Yes. Okay, so we are here at uh, Bravo Cucina Italiana. Uh, we are here to have a complimentary dinner um, and try out some of their new uh, menu items. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. I love Italian food. Um, so hopefully this will be really good, and we'll uh, get back to you in a little bit and let you know uh, what we're having and, and how it is. Okay, so they just brought the bread with dipping sauce and lemons out, and they have started an appetizer for Jeff. What did you order? Calamari. Okay, so we're going to be back when that comes out. So they brought us the bread. Uh, it's still nice and warm. Um, it's very tasty. Uh, it apart nicely. Uh, they also brought us this uh, oil with uh, tomato and herb for dipping. Um, I'm not normally much for the uh, dipping it in the oil, but it's very tasty. Uh, the bread is wonderful, uh, a lot of flavor to it, and uh, I'm enjoying the bread a lot. Okay, so they brought us some of uh, the soup of the day, which is gazpacho. Um, I'm not a huge soup fan, um, and this is a cold soup. Uh, I believe it's a tomato base, um, and it's not bad. Um, the biggest problem that the Sherry would have with this is uh, there is a lot of onion in it, and she has problems with onion. Um, but it's it's tasty. Um, I'm just not you know a huge soup fan, so it's not. Yeah, so you can see big chunks of onion. Um, I think that's green pepper. Um, it's all sorts of uh, different um, chunks of stuff in there. A couple of croutons. Um, I think that's uh, sour cream, possibly. So it's actually fairly tasty, um, and but I'm just not much for soup. Uh, I have over here, which is their calamari. This is one of my uh, ways of testing an Italian restaurant is you know, when they have their calamari bread, uh, uh, nice and tender. Um, so it seems to be pretty good so far. Uh, a light crisp uh, breading, so I'm going to give this a try. Pretty good. Um, it does have a uh, couple of different sauces with it. One is pork shredded, the other is a tomato base. Uh, so uh, you can dip them in the sauces. Uh, I may try the more shredded here shortly. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I don't want to use sauce on my uh, calamari or anything. Okay, and I'm trying the iced tea. There are a number of sauces back here, uh, mango, peach, um, strawberry, and wild berry. So I tried the strawberry first. Um, he also said he had a ginger, so I may try that at some point yet. Okay, so uh, they brought us our salads. Um, these are uh, caprese salads. Uh, it's kind of mixed greens with uh, tomatoes. Um, I'm not sure just what the, uh, I know it's part of the vinaigrette uh, dressing, uh, sprinkling of Parmesan cheese, and uh, sherry salad also has another cheese on it. I don't remember what you said. A mozzarella. It's a mozzarella cheese. Yes. Um, and they, they went ahead and gave her a plate with uh, mozzarella that was supposed to be on my uh, salad as well. Because I'm not a big fan of cheese, especially the salad. So um, the tomatoes are very tasty. I've already had a bite of one of them, so I'm looking forward to 
coffee and a little bit more of the salad. Although I am, because I eat most of that calamari, I am already starting to, uh, I think, get full. Um, they are planning on bringing out a candy uh, pasta salad, so for me to try. So I may be rolling out of here later this evening. Um, I may be so stuffed that uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, I did order uh, the, the uh, linguine carbonara, um, and Terry ordered a uh, filet de uh, She, of course, ordered it well done, which to me just, you know, it's, it's, you killed it. Okay, that's, that's what she likes. She likes it well done. She does not like it too much blood in her steaks. Um, and uh, the linguine carbonara, so I'm interested. It is one of the newer items on their menu. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting that done. Okay, so they brought us the other pots and salads. Uh, and they do look really good. Uh, it's not really something I seem to eat much of, uh, and they did say that you can't do the cheese on the side on the side, which is fine. I'll just pick around the cheese a little bit. There's also black olives here. Uh, it looks like it's got some greens, uh, some tenders, some black olives. Uh, it looks like uh, roasted peppers. Uh, and, uh, some sort of cheese, uh, also like a pepper jack or something along those lines, and looks like uh, maybe salami on there. Uh, looks really good. I'm looking forward to getting a try. I'm not big on this, but uh, I'll give it a shot. They also brought the salad dressing on the side, so uh, this will be interesting. Okay, so we've had our salad. Um, we can eat up <laughs> <laughs> um, want to fill up completely on salad and put some boxes so we can take the rest of the time. Uh, the tomatoes, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, absolutely nice, delicious. Yeah, nice thick slices. You get almost the entire tomato on your plate. Um, they were uh, local sourced tomatoes. Um, the, uh, the mozzarella cheese they get from a local uh, and the parmesan and the parmesan are, are from local uh, locations uh, they get in big blocks and they put it down um, and the mozzarella was absolutely just like fresh from my kitchen fabulous um, the teas uh, we've tried uh, I tried the wild berry and I'm drinking the mango now and added a little bit of uh, uh, fresh raspberries to it. Um, they do have fresh fruit in your teas as well. Raspberries and strawberries. Uh, Harry has tried the strawberry syrup and the peach syrup. I love the peach. And I added some oranges into mine. Uh, you ate the strawberries, right? Yes, I ate the strawberries and they were really delicious too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so far, I mean, everything has been just absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Um, and we were looking around, the, the decor in here is great. Uh, it's kind of definitely high uh, feel to it. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's, yes, and our server is very attentive and friendly. So we appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so they brought out our food. Uh, this is the uh, Winnie Cabernera uh, looks absolutely incredible. Um, the plate is very hot, uh, and that is her steak, the filet mignon, with uh, mashed potatoes. Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. Yukon Gold potatoes, and uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the green beans. Uh, like they say, uh, um, they were they were hot, for day. For, for, uh, green beans. Um, so okay. Okay, so okay. Jeffrey's going to give a taste test. Thank you. 
you can see the screen coming off of there. It's just so... And everything is smelling really good. Fabulous. Okay, so Jeffrey has decided to try the ravioli. The ravioli. Yes. It is, it is very good. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm cutting these raviolis with a fork, and I mean they're they're still you know, staying firm, um, and it's a little different from what I'm used to in the way of ravioli. This is a uh, cheese stuffed ravioli with a Alfredo sauce on it and a drizzling of pesto. Um, so it's a little, a little different. I'm used to the tomato based sauce uh, over the whole ravioli. But uh, so far, I mean, this is this is just uh, yes. wonderful. Um, and unfortunately, I'm, I'm full enough that definitely not going to be able to eat very much of this. <laughs> and I have the, uh, it's just the warm, warm cookie, cookie butter, butter brown blondie with uh, vanilla bean gelato and cookie butter caramel and sugared pretzels. And then I also have a chocolate gelato here. So uh, I will be giving this a try and letting you know what I think. Okay. <clears throat> so. This is the uh, Worm Cookie Butter Blondie, and it is absolutely fabulous. Um, it really is. It's it's sweet, but it's really good. I, I'm in dessert heaven here. Um, this is just absolutely delicious. The uh, chocolate gelato is great. Um, it, it's, it's got a wonderful chocolate flavor to it. Yes, um, and the vanilla bean gelato is really good, too. Okay, so they brought us a piece of the uh, berry cake. Um, this is our seasonal sweet. Yeah, this is, this is something that is a limited time. Uh, they will be switching out to something else a little bit later when something else uh, comes into season. Uh, I see raspberries, blueberries. Uh, I think the cake has mostly blueberries in it. Uh, also a vanilla gelato top. And this is, let's see if I can eat a little bit of this without exploding. That is really good. Yes. Okay, so we are finishing up our meal here. It has been very, very delicious. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I feel like I'm about ready to explode though. Uh, we have lots to take home with yes. us. <laughs> if you come here to eat and you leave here hungry, um, it would be very surprising. The portion sizes are plentiful. Um, we have this overabundance of food. It's wonderful. Um, I really would be surprised that, that somebody coming in here and eating and leaving still hungry. Um, and the desserts are just, they're just absolutely wonderful. Um, the, uh, we were drinking the, the sweet tea with the, the uh, flavorings. This last tea I had with no flavor or anything, it was a sweet tea. And it actually worked well with the desserts because the desserts are so sweet. Um, they're delicious. They're very sweet, very uh, sugary. The unsweetened tea 
helped a little bit to, to thin that out just a little bit. Very nice uh, blend there. And I just, I am so wonderfully happy right now. So, um, once again, we were eating at uh, Bravo Cucina Italiana. Uh, so, it was a very wonderful night. And um, uh, this was a sponsor meal. Uh, and so, have a great night. And uh, we'll see you again next time.